we decided to grab the pedits and head to the interior and have a little fun. Do some snowboarding, do some power surfing here at the GT Memorial. I hope I can just make it to the bottom. Japan is getting dumped on. We quite quickly made the decision to get over here. You! Oh my god. So fun. <laughs> hurt my ankle like three weeks ago. It started to feel pretty good, so we decided to uh, grab the pedits and head to the interior and have a little fun. He said uh, we're off on a road trip. So the next thing we know, we're uh, loaded up, hitting the road. Roadie! Crossing British Columbia is never an easy task. We obviously ended up missing the ferry by about six seconds. It could have backed up. I told you it was more than half an hour. I told you, Cal. Ah, oh, Cal told you. Ah. Oh. oh, here we go. These guys gotta release some energy. Now drive out. faster next time. Man. You shouldn't have got that panini this morning. I told you. We had a little hour delay there. No big deal. Callum uh, busted out the no board and gave us a little show. Well, we're stuck at the ferry, so we might as well have some fun. <laughs> we're gonna go hike up those pillows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Long drive, but we're here. The Windsor Hotel, over 100 years old, and is most definitely haunted. They tell you that when you check in. This is life as we know it, right here. And we will be snowboarding tomorrow, and I am so hyped. And we can just do some of this all day long. Some of this. Night. I like your style. Now we're ready for our beauty day of snowboard and get Groovemeister on the board, see if he's ready to uh, take it on professionally. So excited. This is going to be a riot. Never been sledding with him. It's always an exciting uh, little event of a first timer. Where's your goggles, Dan? In my backpack. Should I put them on? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You're going to need your goggles. Fast. If all else fails in the skiing department, maybe snowboarding might be the thing. I do a lot of skateboarding and surfing, and even snowboarding for me, it's, it's weird just being strapped into the binding, so I'm a big fan of, of, of the power surfing, the binding, this movement. You get a little more freedom, uh, move around the board. Beauty! That was It's a grassroots type of sport that seems to uh, be specific to a small crowd of people at this point in time. Creek Ollie at the end of every run keeps getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day that Groomeister came into the backcountry. Bombardier BLT. Fire up the engine, Sean. My sandwich ain't cooking. Groomeister in the house, man. Not cool. Groovy. Well, I got to use the shovel. <laughs> Pretty fun and funny seeing him out here. Uh, he's giving her, he's giving her all he got. He's gonna do whatever it takes to go pro. It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> I'll be following you guys around before you know it. You have to take me on some bunny hills. <laughs> it's race day, you know, the Greg Taz Memorial. The uh, pioneered snowboarding with a group of people around here and a good place to come and uh, pay some respects and have some fun with some really good people. 
the 10th annual Greg Todd Memorial Melbourne Race. Ladies, let's go. I hope I can just make it to the bottom. I've got the Daytona strip about to uh, appear in my undies. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't wear them today. Two, one. Pretty hectic race. People start at the top of this cut block. It's pretty much pointing it and hitting trees. That was an incredible shifting. We have got a race. It's orange versus orange. Your brother waxed you. Waxed you. <laughs> Cal beat me. Bottom line. I'll never live it down. I'm crying. I'm hoping that group can take out Cal and we can see who the real champ is, you know? I'm bailing. And I'm gonna have a Caesar instead. This is the craziest event I've ever been to. We got 15 riders ready to do the do. Who's coming home with the cat? We got a battle though. Who is that black man? And the money goes to Tyson Connery. <laughs> Got some power turns underneath our belt, and my ankle feels really awesome. I'd like to get some skiing in now. Wake up this morning to a phone call from Richard Perman. He called me from Japan, and he said that it's absolutely dumping out there. I'm heading to Japan. Probably no more than 100 people that live in that town. Pretty authentic Japanese place. Oh, it was really cool. This local dude you know, hooked us up with a bag of, of dried fish. Woo! <laughs> and it didn't just, just smell like fish. It was like, it smelled like fish. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> I love fish. I'm putting my pockets here for there. Guillaume and Richard and the whole crew, they showed up a week before. We've been kind of getting the lay of the land and uh, finding some zones. That is the Lambos of cats right there. Clayton, Canadian from Edmonton. He's been living in Japan for 17 years, just getting this place dialed for crews like us to come and enjoy the lovely Japao that they have to offer around here. We started Black Devon Lodge and Tours 10 years ago. Our market niche was always going to be people who are powder junkies. Customers can ski the same stuff, professional skiers and snowboarders ski. There's so much powder here that you can have friends on a powder day. In my opinion, it is the best powder skiing in the world, especially this time of year. Yeah, that's the first click in in three and a half weeks. Feels a little weird, actually. Sean rolled in, first lap out of the cat. We had this kind of tree feature set up. Did you look at the landing? No. Nope. I like to just click on my skis and just start skiing. OK, three, two, one, drop. Laid out the sickest little slash on the top and dropped down and stomped a flat landing. I guess right then and there, as soon as he landed that flat landing, he knew his ankle was good. I think that definitely set the tone for the rest of the trip. Good to see him back and see him charging, no hesitation. That powder tastes good. That's why I grew up this beard. Purpose of the cat this. Joe, that's so steezy. I love steezy s, yo. that top pillow straight towards you guys. Walk around for a little bit. You always stumble upon little gems like this. There's always a couple different ways to hit things. We called that a wrap. Moved from Shimamaki into Niseko. Get out of the boonies and come to the big resort where all the people are. A couple parties, a little bit of nightlife. This is it, Jason. This is everything. Oh, that's gonna be a good gram. 
Hopefully it just keeps up like this and uh, we'll have the most insane power trip of all time.